Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really special video. Today I am going to be filming a video that is all about 21 things I learned in 21 years. The day that I'm actually uploading this video is a day that it's my birthday, it's my 21st, hence why I'm doing this video all about 21 things I learned in 21 years. So let's get started. Woo! So number one would be be yourself, be selfish. This is something that I'm really trying to live by. So recently I have been focusing on myself, I've been doing a lot of meditation, I have been doing yoga, fitness, a lot of stuff that's really helping me and also doing YouTube that's really helping me to express my creativity and this is really really important for your mental health and anything, your most emotional and physical health as well. So that's that. <laughs> I'm really trying not to speak a lot in this video because I know that every point is going to be like a 20 minute story. So number two is you don't have to do what everybody else is doing and this is a really important one because I know it's quite ironic because I am on YouTube and this is what a lot of other people do but I think in kind of in daily life so if somebody is being bitchy to somebody else and you're kind of thinking oh it doesn't seem right but I feel like I have to kind of bitch with them this is something that's really important because you have to live by what your standards are and if someone, someone is doing something that you're not happy with feel free to tell them because honestly if you're doing it in an honest and calm way then there's no reason that that person should get angry if it's something that they're doing that's wrong or just don't do what they're doing ignore what they're doing and it's all about kind of making sure that you're happy in yourself and you're not copying what everybody else is doing just to be like them number three is if people are meant to be in your life they will so this is something that i'm really living by at the moment especially because i'm single and i'm dating and it's kind of if you start liking somebody and then they kind of drift off into the distance it is very disappointing but at the end of the day if that person is meant to stay in your life then they will and i have a lot of friends that i've had to let go over the past few years and it's really really upsetting for me because i put my friends up on a pedestal and they're literally in my life and they make my life so much better but I've learned to just let them go and if they really don't think that you're good enough then that is not your problem that's theirs that's obviously their opinion on you and if you do if you think you're good enough that's literally all that matters so number four is take time for yourself and um, this is really important to do with mental health as well because you are looking after yourself and if you have a busy schedule make sure you take at least five to ten minutes for yourself to at least relax calm down take a bath anything that relaxes you even watch Netflix for freaking hours on end just do something that makes you happy but make sure you're making time for other people but if you have feel like you are running low and you are kind of fed up with life and you're done and you're just so done and unhappy then please take some time for yourself and that makes all the difference trust me so number five it's actually really funny because i thought that I, I actually was thinking about this today and i actually already wrote it down just because you're related to your family by blood it doesn't make them your family and i've spoken to this a lot to people i can't deal with people who put their family on a pedestal and make them much higher than themselves because they're their family and they are actually wrong in a sense say if like one of my family members was having a go at one of my friends for something and they didn't they didn't like it i'd be like well i'm not gonna say anything because they're my family they're on the right because they're related to me and it's like no girl if they're your family they should treat you respectfully they should love you for who you are and they shouldn't judge you and they should make time for you i have so many family members who don't make time for me and that's a really big thing for me the same with friends and family this is getting very personal i'm very very passionate about this topic so just because your family are related to you doesn't make them your family family for me is someone who treats you with respect and adds value to your life then actually decreases value and if you have a family member that's really toxic then you can let them go obviously even if you're living with them you don't have to properly interact with them as long as you're being respectful to them and friends can be more like family than actually family can be so i don't know a lot of people who don't get along with their families and that is completely fine so number six is quite similar to number one and this is to look after yourself and put yourself first if you are in a situation where you're uncomfortable put yourself first and be honest with that person say i'm not comfortable with this thing and tell them how you really feel put yourself first because you are the most important thing so look after yourself and put yourself first because you are in your body this is you've got only one life or more than one life if you believe in reincarnation but you have one life and i feel like you're in your body treat yourself with respect and look after yourself number seven is never take people for granted and this is a thing that i see a lot i see a lot of people in situations where they are basically really really busy and they don't take any time for people people who are actually busy will take time for you but people who say they're busy who aren't actually busy won't take time for you so if you're taking time for somebody then that is the most important thing time is a really really special thing and you can't take that back so if you are spending time with somebody like your family member or a friend you don't really see very often then put your phone away do something that makes them feel special and if you are 
having a conversation with them and they're talking to you and you're on your phone then that is something that you really need to figure out because you need to make sure that you're not taking these people for granted and especially older people like grandparents they're not going to be there forever and nobody's going to be here forever everyone's going to die at some point it's getting very morbid but i'm getting somewhere number eight is so important to me drama is overrated i have been in so many situations where people have been so dramatic they look like they have steam coming out of their ears and their face is going red like a tomato. Don't get involved in drama if you feel like that this is something wrong. For me, I hate drama. I think it's pointless. I think it's stupid. If you're talking about somebody to somebody else and it's kind of in a negative way and you're doing it to make them feel bad, then that is drama. But if you're doing it because you're concerned about somebody and you're genuinely trying to tell someone how you feel about somebody and it's just a conversation, then that's completely different. Drama is when it becomes toxic and when it becomes spread around with people and it's basically I just don't understand why people have to talk about other people to make conversation because they have nothing better to do with their lives I'm so I know so many people especially in school where they used to talk about other people just to make themselves feel better and that is just wrong and it's disgusting this is number nine don't trust everyone but be open for forgiveness there is a point where you have to say no and you have to let them go which really sucks and i know how that feels but sometimes it's probably the best decision that you could ever make and this could be someone in, in your family this could be your friends it could be someone at work in school in uni it could be anyone who who has mistrust you and it's all right to give someone couple of chances or three chances but if they really are messing you around then please just let them go and get them out of your life if they are toxic you do not need them in your life so number 10 is if you're doing something that makes you happy and you're safe then carry on doing it a lot of people have interests and hobbies that they feel like they can't express because like other people would think oh no that's weird or i don't really like that then just if you're happy doing it and you're safe and makes you happy and gives your life value then carry on doing it if you're doing something that makes you happy then please carry on doing it because if it adds value to your life then that is something that's really really important girl this is getting deep this is getting deep <laughs> so number 11 this is quite similar to another point i've just said and this is to listen and pay attention to others don't be on your phone 24 7 when you are with people pay attention to them if they're being really boring i guess so get your phone out but <laughs> don't get your phone out 24 7 because it can make you seem really really boring not gonna lie if, if you're on your own or you need to take a photo or you want to talk to somebody about something on your phone that's completely fine but it's when you're ignoring somebody just to go on your phone because you're antisocial or you feel uncomfortable then if that someone is really really important to you then please show it because that honestly means the world to that person i'm sure you think the same way if they're on their phone and they're really important to you so number 12 are your friends are really important don't gossip about people respect your friends and if they are messing you around then talk to them and be honest with them and if you have a problem with them just tell them i'm sure they'd appreciate your honesty and if they don't then that is their problem girls number 13 is if it's not happening now it doesn't mean it's never going to happen so this can be in a job this can be in a relationship every day is changing and if you are really interested in somebody or you have a crush on somebody and you really want to tell them then just go for it <laughs> obviously don't go up to somebody and be like i love you because that's just weird <laughs> but yeah in in moderation guys in moderation so number 14 i feel like i'm repeating myself but this one is love yourself and be kind to yourself and this is something that is very, very important as I said mental health physical health emotional health it's all very important to love yourself because you own your body your body is your temple and you should treat your temple with respect so number 15 is one that's extremely close to my heart mental health is really really important even though people say that physical health is really really important mental health is probably the most important i know exactly how it feels to have anxiety if you are determined to make yourself feel better then that is extremely extremely important and i'm really proud of you for making that first step so number 16 is don't be afraid to tell someone that you love them if someone is really really treating you and is really treating you with respect and this could be like your mum this could be your granny when you feel like the time is right you'll know maybe it wasn't the right time but at least you got it out there and it made you feel better so number 17 is things change do your best to go with it i am really trying with this <laughs> i'm not very good with change and this is something that i'm t learning over time and i feel like it gets better with age is things can change suddenly and it's it's your reaction that makes all the difference and if you're calm about something and you're going with the flow then that's fine obviously be organized about things don't just go willy-nilly into random situations but if something is changing in your life then try to think more about what is the best way that's going to make me feel safe and comfortable in this situation even if it's going tits up <laughs> this is a quote that i've seen quite a few times this is you never know what effect you're having on someone and this 
resonates really strongly with me because I feel like because my channel isn't a big channel I put a lot of effort into my YouTube channel and the fact that someone really appreciates that when someone randomly pops up and says oh I hope you're having a good day and things like that that can mean the world to me and a lot of the time I do feel quite distant from my YouTube channel because I do feel like I'm not interacting with as many of you guys but honestly the p people who are subscribed to me honestly you guys mean the world to me and I'm so thankful for all of you who are here and watching this video today. The fact that I have an effect on even one of you guys, even if it's talking about mental health, if it's talking about um, relationships, anything like that. The reason why I do these videos is because I just want to help you guys and if you guys ever need anything then you can always DM me on Instagram or Twitter. But yeah, I just you never know what effect you're having on someone and even if you feel so lonely, there is always someone who you have had a positive effect on. Number 19 is if people walk away even after you've been true to yourself then they aren't meant to be in your life. And this is really hard for me sometimes because I'm very honest with how I feel about people and sometimes that honesty can be too much for them if, if I do tell them how I feel. So if if you feel like that you if someone is treating you really badly or you're not comfortable with someone then just tell them because at the end of the day if that person really doesn't respect you and understand that that is making you uncomfortable then they're obviously not meant to be in your life because if they just walk away even if you've been honest with yourself and that's all you can do then you will eventually find someone who does respect you and treat you like you deserve. Number 20 is also something that I'm really struggling with recently is ask for help when needed. This is something I struggle with at uni, with my friends. And asking for help is really hard for me sometimes because I like doing things for my, on my own. But sometimes you do need that extra push and that one person could really, really help you. You never know how much asking that person is gonna help you unless you do help ask them. But yeah, don't be afraid to ask for help. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Number 21 is don't cry over fuck boys or boys for that matter don't let fuck boys mess you around because they are not worthy of your time if someone you really like is messing you around chuck them out or ignore them let them come to you girl if you deserve to be happy and no matter if you are single if you are in a relationship if you're not being treated well then let that person know and if they don't treat you well then just chuck them get, get them out of your life they're toxic get them out get them push them push them push them out of your life you don't need them also don't cry over people who don't care because all the effort that you're putting in isn't going to make them care if they don't care now they're never going to care and if they do they'll come running back to you if that person is worth it they will come back to you they will come running like no tomorrow so yeah that is the end of my 21 things i learned in 21 years and this is number 22 i'm going to tell you guys it's just another big thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't already the subscribe button is right down there if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up don't forget to comment down below and yeah if you want to subscribe feel free i just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and who interacts on every video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you all in my next video <laughs> bye guys